May I ask you something? Do you miss Earth? These endless blue skies. Free air everywhere. And open water all the way to the horizon. When you spend your whole life living under a dome, even the idea of an ocean is almost impossible to imagine. They are an entire culture working together to turn a lifeless rock into a garden. We had a garden and we paved it. Someday, things gonna change. Earth and Mars have been stepping on the necks of the Belters out here for over a hundred years. You wanna be careful how far you wanna take this. We're all in this together. We are fighting for something precious here. They built their solar system on our backs, spilt the blood of a million of our brothers, but in their eyes, we're not even human anymore. Heaven help your enemies. Heaven help us all. Earth must come first. We make it all this way, so far out into the darkness. Why couldn't we have brought more light? No matter the stakes, the weak always choke in the face of killing. You all committed the cardinal sin. You were caught. What is this? Detention. This school trains creative problem solvers to master the deadly arts. Meet Marcus, the new rat. Welcome to King's Dominion. Rain check on the celebration. You're at the bottom of the food chain, like us. You ain't got a rep. People will see you weak, and they come at you. Every opponent has a weakness. I'm Maria. You like Maria, huh? You better be careful. He's gonna kill you. That guy's all talk. <laughs> These animals see kindness as weakness. It's safer to be a dick. And it's a cold, cruel world. And you can't survive without a family. Even if they are liars and murderers. There is a great responsibility at hand. This could be the defining moment for multiple civilizations, millions of lives. The future may be determined by our actions, yours and mine. We're really on the other side of the looking glass now, aren't we? We're investigating seven red bursts. These signals typically follow the arrival of a being we call the Red Angel. This angel showed me an apocalyptic vision. Someone or something is going to end all sentient life in the galaxy. Quite the welcome, Captain Georgia. We joined Section 31. Fancy. Covert ops, threat assessment. Fun times. It's Section 31's position that the Red Angel should be considered dangerous. We're in the middle of a fight for the future. <laughs> Mr. Dunn, we are always in a fight for the future. Ten sentry ships on an intercept course. I risked everything to help you. You assume every burden is yours alone. Discovery will not allow a catastrophe on her watch. Now. It worked. I mean, of course it worked. Lord knows what's waiting for us out there. Be bold. Be brave. Be courageous. Captain, we are riding into danger. Is that a smile I see on your face? Yes. Welcome to Discovery. Maximum warp. Hi, sir.
Atlanta called. There's a situation back in the States. Where? You're kidding. How long has it been since you were home? A while. We don't know what this is yet. The hospital is on it 24-7 and the CDC. My name is Dr. Abby Arcane. My team is here to find the source of this disease. Body. Dealt with anything like that before? Who are you again? Holland. Al Collin was investigating illegal dumping on the swamp. Hello? Dr. Jason Woodrow. The CDC's in town. There's no way that my accelerant is responsible. There's this poison coming off the swamp. You should be dead! There's been a shift in the balance of the light in the dark. Something's out there. We're dealing with something beyond the known scope of science. I need an alive mystery. There is all kinds of awful that happens in this swamp. There's something special about this place. <laughs> There's so much unimaginable beauty out there, Abby. The swamp had enough. This is payback. What's this? You folks need to turn around. Pretty bad accident up ahead. Anything we can do? You a doctor or something? Or something. Nice doll. That's what you think. Did it work? The evil is contained. How could you not tell me you're babysitting for the Warrens tonight? Mwah. And we'll be back early tomorrow morning. Have fun. Don't your parents keep any creepy stuff around? You keep it all locked away in a room. It's not good for anyone to go in there. My dad says that everything in there is either haunted, cursed, or used in some ritualistic practice. What's that? The fairy man. They put coins in over the eyes of the dead so he could take their souls. What about the doll that's in there? Annabelle. She's in a case for a reason. It's the beacon for other spirits. <laughs> Mrs. Warren? Mom? Is everything okay? Something is happening inside your house and we're not really sure what to do. Can I speak to Annabelle? I'm sorry? You need to give her a soul, dear. She wants us. <laughs>